Renee Ariola's daughter tearfully expressing her pain at Sandoval County's commission meeting weeks after her mother's death. My mom loved what she did and she was so excited to now start with the treasurer's department. Ariola worked for the county for over a decade and recently she was assigned to the county's treasurer's office. The county recognized her just weeks after she died of COVID-19. We can all agree that she had such an amazing heart. She loved working and serving our taxpayers. But according to the court records from the New Mexico's Environment Department, the county might be responsible for her death. The lack of controls, a lack of requiring sick employees to stay home and requiring mask use when it was recognized as an important control method, um, contributed to exposure to employees in that workplace. The county was cited with multiple offenses in connection to Renee Ariola's death. The county was not following its own um, policies and procedures. Ariola died from COVID December 2021. Employees were not required to wear face coverings during this period of time. Multiple employees contracted the virus. The state claims the county failed to reduce the spread of COVID, stating employees still came to work with symptoms. That is absolutely not the case, which is why we point back to the flawed investigation. Sandoval County's manager, Wayne Johnson, argues the facts presented are wrong. Our policy was very simple. If you're symptomatic, you go home. If you start becoming symptomatic at work, you go home. If you're at home and are symptomatic, you stay home. The county was fined nearly $12,000 six months after Ariola's death, and the county is fighting the citation. When the health department issued that health order, Sandoval County immediately went back to a mask pos uh, posture. I sent out an email that day saying, starting tomorrow, you must wear masks in all public spaces. The treasurer's office is not a public space. Johnson said the county will exhaust all of its appeals despite legal cost. The economics are really not the important part of this case. The facts are and the message that it sends to our employees. That's very important to me and it's important to the commission that our employees absolutely know we're looking out for them and we're going to protect them. KOAT legal expert John Day says the county could appeal as far as the state Supreme Court and be costly to the county. If one of the sides who loses is unhappy, they can certainly appeal uh, up the chain. I would anticipate if this gets up the, the appellate chain and winds up with the New Mexico Supreme Court, based on their prior uh, decisions, that they are very likely to be supportive of OSHA.